It's come wrong. Gary, I have to go for a second. Proposal. I can't talk with more bands. Of course. The music press probably. The music press might probably began as a trade service for publishers and for musicians in the 1950s. The re The music press most probably began as a trade service for publishers and for musicians in the 1950s. The reason the music press in the UK has been so popular is probably because of the weekly publication of the magazines and papers, which has meant that British readers would have up-to-date reviews of the week's singles and the weekend concerts, also interview with the latest chart acts. The American press has always made monthly publications. Melody Maker is one of the oldest weeklies. It began in the 20s as a Musicians Monthly and then into Jane. By the 50s though, Melody Maker had been joined by two other weeklies. The New Musical Express began in 1952 after an unsuccessful run at the Musical Express. After a while, the enemy began to reprint billboards, American record charts. Then in 1952, the enemy printed Pushkin's first chart of best selling records. Firstly, a top 12. This grew to a top 20 in 1954 and a top 30 in 1956. A couple of years after the NME came Record Mirror, which was previously called Record and Show Mirror. In the early 60s, the Record Mirror became very popular during the pre beatlemania Wars years especially. Another weekly was Disc, which first appeared in un early 1955. Disc was a slight copy of the NME, though production was tighter and better organised. Disc also had a top 20 singles chart. In 1959, it started the Silver Disc Awards for records which sold 250,000 copies or more. Melody Maker, Enemy Record Melody Maker, Enemy Record Mirror and Disc were all in competition for many years, joined sometimes by short lived rivals. During the seventies Record Mirror started to cover rock and pop. In nineteen seventy two another weekly started, Sound, and Disc disappeared into Record Mirror. The mid seventies proved good for Sound when New Wave came about. Record Mirror carried on with the more pop orientated approach and it seemed to work for them. In the early eighties Smash It started. It gave it a wide audience with its glossy cover and fortnightly publication. Smash Hits and Number One, etc., tend to be more chart orientated, while the pa papers feature more independent bands. <laughs> Malcolm Garrett's first sleep was for the Buzzcocks. Two years ago, Malcolm formed a limited company in partnership with White and Casper Graff. With a team of designers, they produce posters for, amongst others, Simple Minds and Duran Duran. However, designer does not bring in quite as much money as you suppose. Apart from the initial fee, Malcolm earns no money from merchandising his graphics, but the commissions keep coming in. This is about a producer called Robin Miller. He is no ordinary producer. For one, he has a law degree at Cambridge, he got at Cambridge University, but the unusual thing is he has a summer college student as well. This is about a producer called Robin Miller, he is an old new producer. He has a degree in which he got at Cambridge University, but the unusual thing is he has a summer college student. He has quoted before, I'm fear of one thing, being bothered about what a group looks like. This is because it's impartially sighted since birth. He started out as a musician and produced his first record at 21. He has a massive hit in France. So in 1980, he returned to Britain to record material with Chardin and everything but the girl amongst us. He's now on the best of youth in the world. Awesome too. An exchange dealer to work in the music business. That was nine years ago. He's now the man at i and Records in London.
but is the right to copyright is the right to copy or reproduce a piece of work and to make a profit by doing so. I thought that door was locked.